What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chuka the Barber, and I'm back with another video. And as promised, I've been here dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. We got an exclusive special drop today. And the reason why I say that is because every time I would cut his hair and post it on social media, I would get plenty of requests from people wanting this haircut to be a full length YouTube tutorial. So we made it happen and here it is. Let's get it popping. So first thing first, we're gonna take him over to the shampoo bowl, wash and condition his hair, getting him prepped and ready with our Pro Rich shampoo and conditioner. This is a natural DHT blocking formula, which has innovative ingredients to help promote healthy hair growth, all right? So we're gonna knock that out and then we're gonna head back to the station and get started with the cut. I'm gonna quickly blow dry his hair, make sure it's fully dry before I get started. The clippers I'm working with today are the Andis Masters. I'm going to get started by uh, prepping the hair and giving it the shape that I want before I start the fade. Now this is gonna be a mid fade, and I'm gonna keep the top dark and it's going to have like a, a mini fro look, which he can curl it up, twist it up, or even kind of rock more of just like a natural look. And uh, you'll see at the end, I just pretty much keep it natural, but like a mini fro shaped a little bit and uh, allows him to be versatile with it. So the first guard I started off with was a 3 8 guard and I had the lever open and I'm just trimming the hair, going with the grain, laying it down a little bit. Uh, on the sides and then I'm grabbing a one-fourth guard which I'm gonna trim a little more before I get started with my fade. Now I'm gonna put in the first guideline. Trimmers I'm using are the Andis T outliners. The blade on them was modified with our one minute blade modifier to get sharper lines and just over. Now as I'm putting in the guideline I'm gonna fully remove the C cup and I'm gonna bring the guideline to the top of his ear and then I'm gonna start to drop it in the back slightly. And once I got my guideline fully in, I like to take my Andis shavers, these the foil shavers, and uh, go ahead and fully skin them out before I begin with the blend. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take the Andis Masters and trim the hairline area so that I can get an initial lineup going. And this helps me uh, gauge the fade, allows me to see it come together, and also helps with the overall silhouette of the cut so I can see the shape um, and it helps direct me with the fade. So I'm gonna hit both sides and as always I start from the corners then I work my way to the middle and match up each side that way. You can see one of his sides, one of his corners, the left side right there is light so I'm gonna just ghost ride that. Uh, we'll fill that in with some uh, enhanced hair fibers uh, later on but you know you can see that I'm you know creating that illusion of a full line right there so I'm not trying to go up in there and you know, make it sharp and full right there because it's not gonna happen, right? So, um, just ghost write it, it still looks good. Um, and like I said, we'll fill it in with the enhanced hair fibers to give it more of a fuller look. Now I'm going to take the trimmer and I'm going to bring the initial guideline up slightly because you gotta remember when I put the initial guideline in there, it was, and skinned him, it was with the trimmer, but then I followed up with the foil shaver. So I wanna make sure I fully remove any dark spots that may have been created from using the foil shaver. All right, so this is a good reason to always start your fade slightly lower and give yourself room to start your blend because the beginning of the blend is the most important. So um, this technique uh, has always worked for me. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna take the Andis Masters and throw a 1 8 guard on there too just remove some of the bulk out the way so I can see my blend better. Uh, so we're gonna run through that around the guy line real quick. And then I'm going to take that guard off and just begin my blend with no guard. With the lever all the way closed, bringing the guy line up a little bit, creating a new one while removing the previous one. And as I do this, I will slightly adjust the blade, open it up slightly, and do the same thing. Making sure to keep my blend really tight. You can see it's a real tight blend at the bottom. And um, I'm just repeating the process, bringing the blend up, following my guideline, making sure that there's that consistency with the contrast and the blend. And you do this by following your guideline, 
keeping consistent pressure on the head with the clipper throughout the blend and then you also do this by keeping a consistent angle of the clipper or the blade on the head and that angle should follow the guideline and you can see that I'm not you know, tilting the clipper all too far to the left too far to the right like I see too many people when they're learning using the edges of the blade the corners too much you know first you want to get the blend done and then you use the angles and I mean the sides of the blade for the detailing work but if you're using the sides of the blade for like the main core part of the blend you're gonna have a patchy fade it's going the contrast is gonna be inconsistent or it's gonna be hard to get that consistency it's gonna be much harder and your fades are just gonna take so much more so much longer than if you just actually you know use the whole blade and just make sure that you kept consistent pressure and consistency with the guideline and consistency with the angle meaning the way that you angle the clipper you can see that it's angled downward slightly just like his fade that's what I mean by matching it with the guideline and then I will grab a 1 16th guard and open up the lever fully and this time I'm blending in reverse so I'm gonna take my guideline up slightly and then as I blend I'm gonna blend my way down and as I come down with the blend I'm gonna close I'm gonna slightly close the uh, lever so I usually go fully open halfway and then closed when I have guards on and that usually blends it uh, perfectly for me again remember keep the consistent amount of pressure stay parallel with the guideline and continue to use the full blade while you're blended Now once I'm done with that guard, I'm gonna throw on a 1 8 guard and then I'm gonna do the same thing, repeat that same process that I did with the 1 16th. Bring the blend up slightly. And then I'm gonna go with the one fourth guard. And again, same process, lever all the way open, blend up, and then work my way down as I close the clipper. And once that's done, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side again, lever all the way closed, start my blend. We're gonna run through this real quick. Now, Sean, Sean is from my hometown. He's from Sacramento. Uh, that's where we actually met. He was one of my clients out there. Um, he happened to be in LA, and he actually pulled up to say what's up. He pulled up to the shop while I was uh, cutting a model already for one of these videos. And then, uh, you know, he left, and our next model canceled. And then I hit him up and was like, bro, you still around? You know what I mean? Can you pull up and we be a model for this video? And he was with it, he pulled up, he was able to make it happen. Uh, so shout out to my boy Sean for doing that. So Sean hoops, he played basketball, I played basketball. We were both in this weekend league back home in SAC. And uh, there was this game, we was going at it. He was guarding me, I was guarding him. And we must have dropped like 30 plus. Well, I know I dropped 30 plus on him. He might have been close to that too though. But no, we was going at it, we was battling on the court. And um, yeah, man, it was it was uh, I mean, it was respect. I forgot who won, but yeah, man, it was it was a show that we put on, man. We'll get back to the cut. So here, we're just gonna do a little detail work. We're gonna make sure that the blend is consistent all the way through the back as we connect both sides of the fade in the back. We want to make sure that's consistent, and then we'll hook up the face real quick. Hook up the beard, blend the sides out of the beard, the tips of the beard out. 
I'm going to freehand the shape of his hair. Like I said, when we started, we're doing like a mini fro type thing. So, um, you know, I'm gonna put a little product in there to give it slight curls and kind of give it, you know, give it more of a moisturized look. And then uh, any straight hairs that's sticking out, popping out, I'm gonna uh, remove those by freehanding it and shaping it. And once I'm done with that, we're gonna enhance this cut. We're gonna fill in his light spots, his light corners with uh, the Rich Barber Enhanced Hair Fibers. First applying the hold spray, then following up with the fibers. I'm using the clear application card to keep as much fibers off his forehead as possible and also help apply the fibers more precisely so I have uh, less cleanup work afterwards when it comes to just lining up the fibers and removing them from the area where I don't want them. And now you can see I'm, I'm applying enough fibers, but I'm not overdoing it. When it comes to enhancements, I, I go for a more natural look. I would say, I would call it a natural enhanced look than, you know, trying to fully darken out his hairline like all the way across, you know. Cause that's, of course you can see in the, it's lighter over on the left side of his head. So I don't need to overdo it. Like I could still give an enhanced look, a fuller look without fully like matching the darker areas of his hairline. So um, you can see right, it still looks good, still pops, still got that enhanced look and it looks natural, you know what I mean? So um, that's how I get down when it comes to uh, using fibers or enhancements. I like the natural look instead of kind of the exaggerated uh, enhanced look. But yeah, once that's done, we gonna wrap it up. That's the final look. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to visit therichbarber.com for all your barber products or grooming products that you may need, whether you're a barber or whether you're someone at home that likes to stay fresh on a daily. Uh, we got you covered, all right? Catch y'all next time. I'm out. YouTube, what's up? Chuka the Barber here. I want to thank all y'all that's been rocking with me since day one. Currently at 197,000 subscribers. I'm trying to push that thing all the way up to 200. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I got videos dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from now on. So come tap in, rock with me. I'm going to take it to a whole nother level. 